Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install R and R Studio on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, let's start with the installation of R. So just go to your favorite browser and search for download R. And hopefully the first link which will appear here will be from cran.r-project.org. I'm also going to put this link in the description of this video. Just click on this link and we are on the home page of the R programming language. Now straight away you will be able to see the download links here for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So we are going to click on the link which is associated with Mac OS. Now here on this page you can see R is available for Apple Silicon chips for Mac and R is also available for Intel chips for Mac. Let's click on the first link because I have Apple Silicon which is going to start the download of this .pkg file. It's around 91.3 megabyte file. Once this file is downloaded, let's click on this .pkg file and let me minimize this browser. So the first window of this installer looks like this. Here we just need to click on continue. Here on the next window, you can read about our programming language, like what comes with this package or what are the requirements. So you can read about that and then click on continue. Then comes the license terms and conditions page. So read these license terms and conditions carefully and then click on continue. And here, if you agree with the license terms and conditions, click on agree, which is going to redirect us to the next window. This is the actual installation window and it's going to give you the information about the installation, how much space it's going to take. If you are okay with that, then click on the install button, which is going to ask you for your MacBook's password. So just provide that password and then press install and then the installation will start. It's not going to take too much time for the installation to complete. And at last you can see this message which says, the installation was successful. That means R is installed on our Mac operating system. We can close this window and then click on move to bin because we no longer need this package file. Once R is installed, we can go to the launch pad and here you will be able to find the R programming language icon. So just click on this R programming language icon, which is going to launch this kind of R console. So I can maximize this R console. I can press command plus to make this text bigger and I can press command minus to make this uh, text smaller here. So here using R console, you can test your code. For example, if I want to print hello world, I can just type uh, print and then in the double quotes, I can just type uh, hello world here and then press enter and it's going to print hello world that means our installation is working fine on my uh, mac operating system if you want to quit you can see the command is really simple just type q and then these parentheses and then press enter and then it's going to ask you if you want to save your workspace uh, changes i don't want to do this so, so i can just press on don't save button, which is going to exit out of this R console. Now you can also run your R command in your terminal. So you can just click on this spotlight and then search for terminal and then open the terminal. And then in your terminal, when you write capital R and then press enter, it's going to open the R console. Here also you can evaluate your uh, R code and then run it. So I'm going to just print uh, hello this time and then press enter and it also works, right? So you can either open the R console using the launch pad or you can also evaluate your R commands in the terminal using this R command. So this is how you can install R on your Mac operating system. Now let's move to the installation of R Studio. So once again, open your favorite browser and search for download R Studio. And the first link which will appear here will be from posit 
co this is the official website for our studio so i'm going to click on this uh, link here so here i'm going to click on accept all and then when i scroll down here i can see the installation of r which we have already uh, finished and then second step is to install the r studio on our mac operating system so you can see download our studio desktop for mac 11 plus we are going to click on this link which is going to start the download of this rstudio.dmg file it's around 366 megabyte file so it will take some time to download and once this rstudio.dmg file is downloaded we are going to click on this file and then let me minimize the browser here the installation of R Studio is really simple. You just need to drag this R Studio icon into your applications folder. If you are using MacBook and its trackpad, then press command key and then drag this uh, icon on top of your applications folder and then uh, just uh, drop it there and it's going to be copied in your applications folder. You can see. If you are using mouse, then you can simply drag and drop this uh, RStudio icon on top of your applications and it will be copied. Once RStudio is copied into the applications folder, just close this and then once again we will go to the launchpad section and then you can see the RStudio icon here. So just click on this RStudio icon which is going to launch RStudio on your Mac operating system and you can see our studio has been opened here so here also you can see the similar kind of r console so you can once again evaluate your commands and our studio is an ide so it will give you intellisense and all the uh, compilation or debug capabilities which a normal ide comes with here once again i'm going to just uh, print hello and then it gives me the output you can also create a new r file by clicking on this uh, file icon and then click on new and then click on r script or you can simply click on this uh, plus button to create a file and you also have the option to create a r project let's create a r file first so i'm going to click on file new and then r script and then it creates this untitled file. So first of all, we need to save this file. So I'm going to click on this save icon and then I'm going to name my file as let's say test.r, right? And then you can choose the location where you want to save your file. Let's say I want to save my file in some folder, let's say demo C and then I'm going to click on save and then this kind of pop-up window appears which says our studio would like to access files in your documents folder. I'm going to click on OK here and then this test.r file is created. Here you can uh, write your R code and as you can see when I type some code it's going to give me the IntelliSense. So here let's print something and then to run this line itself you can just uh, move your cursor on this uh, line and then click on this button which says run the current line or the selection so i'm going to click on this uh, button and, and it runs the current line or the selection and then move the cursor on the next line if you want to rerun the previous code you also have the options for that now on the right hand side you can uh, see the file system in the R Studio itself. You have the plot section, package section, help, viewer and the presentation section. Also you will be able to see the global environment on the right hand side. You also have the history, what code we have written here and then you also have uh, connections and some tutorials which you can go through. So this is how you can install R and R Studio on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.